Today I will be showing off how to set a diverse menu at Bancho Sushi and what my shift looks like I guess and some strategies I guess. So typically I don't like putting too much strain on one ingredient so I will generally spread it out. Oh, a plus one. See, if I didn't get that plus one there, this actually totals 45. This is a got plus one, it totals 46. I only, so I only serve 45 customers a night, so it being a bit higher, it's kind of a bit annoying, but if I add up to two nines and a 10, that's 28. Plus the 14 from here, that's 42, plus that, that's 46. As you can see, my dishes aren't too far apart in price. But even if you have to sort of lower down and stuff, that's okay. Because the benefit of it is that you get to retain some items to level stuff up with. Now, yeah, so how the shift goes. Now I normally like to hover around this area. Because I find it more important to clean the plates over here than anything. This guy will prioritize El Nino. El Nino will prioritize serving drinks over cleaning. So if like, there's a situation where, like, where a beer or green tea needs to be poured and there's some plates that need cleaning, he'll just pour the beer and green tea instead. Which is kind of annoying. At this point I would say there's no items left on the menu, but I don't bother restocking because, well, no one else is coming in. Nice. My branch, I don't have much going on at. branch kind of just exists. Yeah, that's about it from my video. There's nothing really else to it. If you have a diverse menu, it preserves ingredients, and you can use them more for leveling up dishes, because we are serving the same dish like five or six times a night, or even seven. Uh, it starts to add up the cost of ingredients very quickly. Have a good day.